Uh, yes, Ever, this is Ray, and I wanted to go over uh, really quick the new website with you. Um, this is your current website, obviously, uh, and I know that we did some work on it uh, last year. Um, basically, not changing any of the framework or the overall layout, but you needed some issues with your Event Expresso not printing up tickets correctly uh, fixed. And um, while we were in there, you know, we kind of spruced it up a bit and added some nice touches to it, uh, but again, without really changing much of the framework uh, because we don't want to, you know, have to take it down or anything like that for a period of time. Um, but if you want to go and do uh, any type of aggressive SEO or social marketing, you definitely need an updated website because this, um, the, the template that you were using was just too restrictive. Um, so like I had mentioned to you um, before, I took it upon myself. What I did was I moved over everything from your current website all your plugins, all your data, all of your classes, everything. I did a database import from your uh, web hosting account over to my server and that way little by little whenever I had time because it was kind of unofficial I worked on it here and there really over the last uh, few months. Um, you know 20 minutes here, an hour there, you know, just downtime and um, I did that so that I could create my own layout and also be able to really do some of the things we need to do in order to do effective SEO and, and you know any type of social marketing. So this is the new website that I came up with. Uh, my opinion, I think it's, it's night and day different from uh, your current one. First impression is, wow, uh, it's very modern. We have a slideshow here. Each slide we have a headline that comes up that uh, tells you a little bit more. Um, about your service and then we scroll down now all of this can be changed on the fly I mean within a matter of a couple minutes you can change any of this wording change the slides um, you scroll down and immediately I have call to actions um, I have call to actions everywhere on this website we have these here each one of these lead to your classes page I have more call to actions here um, that lead to your classes page the, the whole point is we want people to, whenever the mood and the instant uh, they decide, yes, they want to look at classes, we want to make it easy for them. We want there to be multiple places they can click to go to your classes because once they go to your classes, that's really the first step in the multi-step process of getting them signed up. All right, so you can see I um, there's a lot more uh, eye-catching imagery to this website. The, than your current website. Uh, all right, so a uh, little bit of a different color scheme just to make it pop a little bit. Uh, it's fully responsive, so that means it's going to look great on any device. If someone goes to it on a mobile device or someone goes to it on a tablet, everything kind of resizes and rearranges itself so that it'll fit nicely on any device. All right, and then we scroll down. We have your testimonials here. I added a angled uh, effect on the row where your testimonials is just to really kind of separate it from the rest of the page. We have your address and we have another call to action. All right, basically give us a call or send us an email. Okay, so if you go through this website, we'll just go through it really quick. Um, you can see that I've changed uh, very little as far as the content but I've just changed how we present it. So everything on this website matches word for word everything on this one except I just arranged it a little differently, added some graphics, things like that. I made these you know, specifically for you. I found this image online and then I added this uh, button here. Um, class schedule, this goes to your classes, this goes to your classes. Again, multiple ways uh, on the page for people to go to the most important page which is your classes alright so this is the about us page frequently asked questions page I just want to go over that really quick you can see alright so really all the contents the same I don't want you to worry about is there any wording missing or anything like that all the content is the same alright just the uh, framework of the site has changed significantly so um, this this was necessary because, like we mentioned, I don't 
you know, I, I most of my day, to be quite honest with you, is spent doing ongoing marketing and fine tuning sites that I've worked on maybe a couple years ago. I have customers that for several years now, after making their website, I'm just marketing for them, doing things online to, to keep traffic coming in. And the one thing I never like to do is start any kind of marketing, whether it's SEO, email marketing, social network, unless the website is up to speed enough to be able to really convert and get the highest response rate for the marketing I'm doing. If I feel that your website's not up to being able to do effective SEO, if it's missing certain elements in it that are necessary for me to put things in the code, whether it's the header tags, the meta descriptions for the benefit of the search engines, I don't want to do SEO because it's, it's really a, uh, a waste of my time waste of your time and I'm not going to be able to get your results that are going to make you happy enough to continue anyways so um, the first step of any SEO is always getting your website in prime condition and then doing SEO only after that so we've done that here uh, feel free to go over your website everything works just like your current website and most importantly I want to show you really quick um, all of your plugins now um, this is very very important I wanted to show you this really quick before I end the video um, I imported all of your plugins especially event expresso that was my main concern so that I could make sure everything that you've already done all your hard work isn't going to be in jeopardy all your class information everything works perfectly all your student records your uh, PayPal Pro settings that we worked so hard to you know get set up last year um, all that works perfectly. Um, the fixes that I did for your tickets, uh, making sure everything showed up on your tickets, you know, your logo wasn't showing before um, on your current site. All those fixes we did last year, they're, they've all been imported and I've gone through. So moving to this new improved layout uh, isn't going to cause a domino effect of a bunch of problems. It's not going to take you offline. Um, so I've already imported all of your plugins, all of your um, you know Event Expresso files, and everything works. So um, you know I've I've pretty much finished this up. We need to um, if you're happy with it, uh, pick a time you know some downtime say uh, in the evening, where you're you know we can take the site offline for say an hour or so, so that I can move it back over to your hosting. And then once we do that, we can get going on the SEO. Thank you so much, Ever.